Hi everyone, it's your girl Valentina, nicknamed the African Dominican. As you all know, I'm in the village. Hey. I'm here for a family wedding, so we are at the church right now. So just hang tight, it's going to be a fun, wonderful, fun day of a village wedding. So hang tight, okay? So this is what I'm wearing, hope you like my outfit, hey! Don't I look cute? I think I look cute. And of course my sister did my hair, doesn't it look good? Yep. And in this video, this is what you're going to expect. I'm going to take you through a traditional Namibian Oshuambo wedding. All right. So hang tight. It's a three day event Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's how we celebrate weddings in Africa. <laughs> So traditionally on Friday, the day before the wedding, usually the groom out of the family with the uh, friends. They stand outside the bride's compound or home and sing and sing for hours until they prove themselves. When they prove themselves that they sang really well, then the bride's family opens the door or the gate to welcome them in the compound. This is how it's done in the Oshiwambo traditional culture. So after singing and Singing their hearts out for hours, they were finally allowed to come in the compound and bring their gifts that the family, that the Cruz family have for the bride. And the suitcase has what she's going to wear. And this uh, clothes or gift is from the groom's side of the family. They buy these things for her. They buy the wedding dress. They buy everything that she needs to wear the wedding day. They bring that for her. So this is a groom's family right here. Um, they came representing, and the guys singing. Those are in this video. They are hired for this wedding, but generally in Oshuambo culture, if it's both Oshuambo um, people getting married, their friends will sing and sing and sing. But nowadays they just hire singers. You don't have to have friends who can sing, but you can hire singers, and you can also have your friends or your groomsmen sing along with the professional singers. So after singing inside the compound, you know, they were just in the welcoming area. They were not inside the main home yet where they take their gifts for the bride or the clothes for the bride. So right now they are actually walking to meet the bride for the first time. She is in a certain room where only certain people can go in and um, accept the gift like it's going on right now. So this is everything that's in a suitcase. Everything that the bride has to wear that day is in a suitcase. And uh, we are all in this room. Only certain people were allowed to come to this room. And I'm thankful for the privilege to come also and be part of the witnessing of the items that the groom's family brought for our bride to wear on our wedding day, which is the next day. Also included in the suitcase is also some lingerie stuff that she can wear after the wedding when she goes to sleep with the husband um, after their wedding day that's also included in there as well so what also happens is that the bride's family um they, they ask make sure that everything they ask the bride if everything is in there in the suitcase that she needs to wear the next day and you know we just kind of like talk and just make sure that everything that the bride needs to wear for our wedding day and after the wedding on the night with the husband that is also included in the suitcase and nothing is missing this was my first time witnessing this and it was very humbling to see how customary things are done guys good morning hi guys so i'm at the village um they just slaughtered cows as you can see behind me they slaughtered nine cows um yeah so it's the wedding day, food preparation. Um, this is how they do in the north of Namibia. I eat meat, but unfortunately, I don't have the stomach to watch animals get slaughtered. So that's why I'm not even going to show that part. They're going to to slaughter the cows. Aww. Yeah, that's why they slaughter the cows with. So, and everybody just woke up um, in the morning, um, 
getting ready for the wedding, preparing food. Those are the drinks being prepared. Uh, some, some drinks have already been bought. Some people are cooking. Um, it's just really a happy day and everybody's busy that day with getting the bride ready, the food ready. It's definitely a very exciting day in the village of Namibia. So this is how we from the Oshuambo cultures do it. I'm an Oshuambo tribe um, person. So every tribe does it differently. But in my culture, which is Oshuambo, our weddings, we really do go over the top with our weddings. Uh, we have so many people show up and everybody almost has a role. Um, if you're not like a special guest, but if you're a family member, you have to help out with the cooking, um, getting the bride ready, and just making sure everything is in order. Those are the potatoes being prepared um, for the potato salad that's very popular in Namibia. And everybody's just doing their job. Um, those are the chicken, organic chicken. It tastes so good. So this, me just wanted to show you how... Um, we pre we have our wedding days in namibia um, friday is the uh, welcoming of the um groom's family or the bride's family no groom's group's family and then saturdays are the food preparation reception and the actual wedding day so yeah that's all the food be prepared to feed a lot of people and uh, usually there's like three different receptions there's a main hall reception for the main um bridal party and guests and this and every family has their own reception because not everybody can fit in the main reception hall and i'll show you this much later and of course um yeah it was definitely a busy day uh we all tried to help as much as we can um yeah there's just so much work to do um hopefully you're getting a good idea of how weddings are done in the village of namibia and just stay tuned because i'm going to take you through the whole day I'm going to show you the bride's party at the church and the actual um, wedding reception, the dancing and the partying. Like I mentioned, this is a three-day event. You know, Friday is for welcoming and dancing and whatnot. Saturday is the um, cooking and the actual day with the um, church and reception. That's the main wedding day. Um, and then Sunday is just a chill day. And, of course, everybody brings their own tents to sleep in because not everybody can fit in the compound. So we all slept in tents. All right, these guys are having way too much fun getting this reception hall ready. So the reception hall is an outdoor reception hall, and it's right at the same compound where the animals were slaughtered. So everything's happening in one big village compound. And this is a beautiful outdoor reception hall. And they're just setting it up right now. So it looks pretty nice. I like the decor so far. Um, yeah, what do you think? How do you like this outdoor reception hall? And I'm so glad it wasn't windy or too windy so that things don't fly away but it looks so nice and hopefully those of you getting married soon hopefully you're getting ideas for an outdoor wedding um i definitely do like how this was set up i love outdoor weddings in the nature beautiful beautiful but tap in a comment below and let me know how you th what you think about this um outdoor wedding reception hall do you like the setup um what would you do differently if it was your wedding all right, anyway, thanks for watching. Let's continue on. Uh, wedding day so we are at the church right now we're just waiting for the bridal party um to go through the official ceremony with the uh, in private with the pastor but um yeah we're here at the church um in um in the village somewhere yeah it's a good day wedding day unfortunately the church part of the wedding in namibia is not my favorite especially in the northern part of namibia where um the church is a majority Lutheran church. Um, so I don't mean to offend anybody, but oh my goodness, the service goes on for like two, three hours. A wedding day church service goes on for two to three hours. It is so tiring. It is so boring. Um, I just couldn't. I fell asleep a few times just trying to stay awake, and it was just too long. 
I kept going to the car and back. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I'm Pentecostal um, slash non-denominational. And I can go to my church two or three hours and not even get tired or fall asleep. So I just don't know why traditional churches, yeah, why well, I, fall, I fall asleep right away. But it was definitely a beautiful wedding, but I just did not like the church part. It was way too long. And three hours later and the church is out. Now it's time to celebrate the newlyweds. As you can tell, there were two weddings. So usually in the northern part of Namibia, the church usually marries uh, more than one or more than two couples at a time sometimes you have like 10 couples getting married in one day and you all have to sit through it but luckily this time around that was not the case it was only two weddings and still it was long now it's time to celebrate the wedding <laughs> So what's going on here is that uh, in the Oswambo culture, soon after the couples get married in church, you know, we walk them to the car, dancing and celebrating them. People are holding their hostels and they are singing and dancing. It's just a joyous occasion, celebrating the newlyweds and leading them to their car. So here, everybody has uh, returned to the um, to the main, uh, the bride's home where the wedding is um, the compound that I showed you earlier. So this is how it looks like when people return from the church. You know, we draw from the church and then back to our to the village where the wedding is being held. So here you see the with the groom side of the family. It's when I meet up with the bride side of the family, and then they just going to celebrate each other. It's like a little fun thing, you know. So that's the bride, the groom, the bride, and the family just walking towards um, the place where the gifts will be exchanged from all the guests. So again, this is the um, the walking pro the wedding walk procession, whatever it's called. The, we are walking towards, um, you know, we are now at the main camp, like I told you guys where the wedding is, at the village home. So everybody walks and celebrates, like I mentioned earlier. But before we get to the reception, um, the, the bride and groom, they've been led to a, an area where they exchange the wedding gifts, where they get where wedding gifts from all the guests. So what you're going to see, um, this, this is a two it's a two cultures wedding, Oshuambo culture and um, another Namibian culture. I don't want to say Caprivi, I think it's Caprivi or Zikabango, one of those. So um, it's a two cultures merging into one. So the bride is Oshuambo culture, which is my relative, and the groom is from another culture in Namibia. So that's why you see the different thing and the different um, attires. And everybody just happy, you know. So we're all walking towards this one place where the gifts will be exchanged. You know, a lot of dancing, celebrating, yulolating. That's what, how we do it in Namibia. Lena, 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 Lena,
Uganda, Billy Ghana, Wamele Lofuko, Uganda, Billy Ghana, Wamele Lofuko, Uganda, Uganda, Billy Ghana, Wamele Lofuko, Uganda, Uganda, Billy Ghana, Wamele Lofuko, Uganda, all right after all that walking and dancing we finally made it to the place where the guests get to gift the newlyweds with gifts. So this is how the gift exchange goes in the Oshuambo culture. Stay tuned. We are home now. Let us do a short program. This is a short program. you just heard is a church hymn church song so we've just been sitting here listening to speeches word of thanks before the actual gift exchange starts and the bride is drinking some traditional oshuambo juice So right now what you see is the um, newlyweds receiving their gifts from the guests and the family members. Some, most of these gifts are really to help them um, start their new life. It includes money, uh, includes um, stuff that you can use in the kitchen and around the house. There's different types of gifts. Um, some of them are traditional in nature like the Shomba tradition, um, give certain um, gifts. And it's all just to really um, help the couple start in their new home. All right, the gift exchange has finished and now it's time for the wedding reception, the actual celebration. Well, they are all celebrations, just different stages of celebration. So right now, everybody's entering the compound um, and the couples are going to make their way to their wedding reception hall. At this point, you are probably w wondering why are Africans having a white wedding where the bride and groom are dressed like anyone in Europe or America would dress on their wedding days. Well, to start, Namibia is a Christian nation. So our wedding days, um, the couples always dress in a white dress and the man wears a suit. We also have um, part of our wedding celebration. We also do have the traditional part of it. Like Friday was more like the traditional part where, you know, we do the, um, you know, traditional custom things that, like I showed you guys earlier. And then Saturdays they get to the actual wedding day. It's a Christian wedding. That's why um, you see a lot of European features like as far as like the white dress and going to church and stuff like that. Um, but we also invoke uh, African traditions like, you know, the celebrations and you relating. That's all African. And I know you've been seeing people 
eating at different locations um, on this village um, home. That's because, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have different receptions uh, for different people and different families because the main hall cannot fit everybody. So that's why you see different sections within this village compound of um, different wedding receptions within one big compound. Um, so different families you know, make their own food and they set up their reception and the main guests for the bride and groom sit in the main tent the one i showed you earlier that was being set up that's the main tent in the main uh, reception that's where the wedding couples their guests sit under that one tent or reception hall this one right here so that's where the main guests for the bride and groom are that's the main reception hall the other ones are also main in a way but they are not um for the wedding couples they are more like for different families um who came to support the couples um, it's done this way. There are many different receptions within one big wedding. It's done this way because um, to accommodate everybody. Because some of the guests that come to the wedding, the bride and groom might not know them. Or they might not fit in the main tent. So each family accommodates their own guests. So, so a family of the bride and groom can have their own receptions for their friends and family members. You know, And the bride and groom have their own reception halls for the people that they invited personally. So what you are seeing right here is just the wedding um, entrance, the bridal party entrance that did their dance. You know, like usually it's done in normal weddings that are not traditional. So that's what's going on right here. So we are inside the main tent for the wedding couples. And this tent or this reception came out really great. Looks great at night. I really love the lights. Really looks very beautiful. Oh my goodness. And of course, it is time to eat. That's the food that was being served in the main hall. I had the pleasure of being able to go back and forth between the main hall and the other um, receptions that the families were having. And the food was just good um, in all the receptions. And I like the way um, Makacha does it, you know. So that way, it also helps the couples to budget well for the reception. Because one thing about Namibian weddings in the village, the whole village comes. People that show up, they are not all invited, you know. And you, can, and you can't just send people away. The whole village comes to a wedding, you have to feed everybody. So it's always good to have extra food um, so that the wedding couples are not burdened by all the guests that come from the village that they don't even know themselves but this turned out really really well we had an amazing time this is how a namibian wedding looks like in the oshwambo culture and i keep saying oshwambo culture because the bride is from the oshwambo culture so the bride side is what who organized the wedding and the bride the groom side um came and also contributed their culture but this is really an Oshuambo wedding this is what you would expect if you were to attend an Oshuambo wedding and I like that um, bar setup pretty cool huh yep I hope you are enjoying this video so far and learning that's what I had to eat delicious food organic very natural and that's a wedding cake right there it was so delicious and that's a, um, the couple's um, table they were, where, where they were sitting and now it's just time to party. Everybody having fun, you know, the bride and her friends and family. It was an amazing time. Amazing. <laughs> Yo! 
your husband in our presence you should do wilika usupirire who is more dramatic who is more dramatic Some people are shy. Maybe. Just come. Don't be shy. This, the one who is going to hold this one, will be the next one. Maybe it might be that you may, you may get married before December if you get this one. <laughs> get married before the, the December this year. Yeah. Evening, everyone. Evening, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys happy? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To be here. Yes. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, again. Are you guys happy to be here? Yes. This is a celebration. We should be all excited. Woo! Hey! 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 you've enjoyed the video thus far day three sunday unfortunately i don't have the footage for sunday but sunday was a chill day where the rest of the guests wouldn't return home finish the food that was left off from yesterday and also everybody finished the cake or ate the cake because in the course of the wedding day only the main guests and the main hall ate the cake i hope you enjoy this video and have a better idea of how a namibian or shawamba wedding is like definitely a fun day and once again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.